Entering their fourth year of war against Japan, Chinese military forces were strengthening their air force, producing their own armaments, and training their officers in the methods of modern war. Here, Chinese cadets in full battle dress, they favor the German type of steel helmet, on parades somewhere in China, on July 11, 1940. On April 9, 1940, Germany simultaneously invaded Norway and occupied Denmark, and the war began in earnest. British infantrymen in position in a shallow trench near Bardia, a Libyan port, which had been occupied by Italian forces, and fell to the Allies on January 5, 1941, after a 20-day siege. On May 10, German forces swept through Belgium and the Netherlands in what became known as Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War. Against a background of a rock formation, a British bomber takes off on May 15, 1941, from somewhere in East Africa, leaving behind a trail of smoke and sand. Three days later, Hitler's troops crossed the Meuse River and struck French forces at Sedan, located at the northern end of the Maginot Line, an elaborate chain of fortifications constructed after World War I and considered an impenetrable defensive barrier. Warships of the British Mediterranean fleet bombarded Fort Cupuzzo at Bardia, Libya, on June 21, 1940. On board one of the battleships was an official photographer who recorded pictures during the bombardment. Anti-aircraft pom-pom guns stand ready for action. On June 14, German forces entered Paris, a new government formed by Marshal Philippe Pétain, France's hero of World War I, requested an armistice two nights later. An aerial view of Tobruk, Libya, showing petrol dumps burning after attacks by Allied forces in 1941. From the end of 1940 through the summer of 1941, the conflicts among nations grew into true world war. Bardia, a fortified Libyan seaport, was captured by British forces, with more than 38,000 Italian prisoners, including four generals, and vast quantities of war material. An endless stream of Italian prisoners leaves Bardia on February 5, 1941, after the Australians had taken possession. The East African Campaign and Western Desert Campaign both began during this period, with largely Italian and British forces battling back and forth across the deserts of Egypt and Libya, and from Ethiopia to Kenya. A squadron of Bren gun carriers, manned by the Australian Light Cavalry, rolls through the Egyptian desert in January of 1941. The troops performed maneuvers in preparation for the Allied campaign in North Africa. The Tripartite Pact, a declaration of cooperation between Germany, Italy, and Japan, was signed in Berlin. This armor of the RAF's Middle East Command prepares a bomb for its mission against the Italian forces campaigning in Africa. This big bomb is not yet fused, but when it is it will be ready for its deadly work. Photo taken on October 24, 1940. Japanese forces occupied Vietnam, established bases in French Indochina, and continued to attack China. The moment a patrol of British hurricane fighter planes, flying over a Middle East sector, broke formation to attack enemy aircraft on December 28, 1940. Mussolini ordered his forces to attack Greece, launching the Greco-Italian War and the Balkans campaign. This photo, made from a British warplane during the assault of Tobruk shows the Italian cruiser San Giorgio burning amidships in the harbor of Tobruk on February 18, 1941. The ship was scuttled, its decks appear to be covered with wrecked and smashed gear. 
The Battle of Britain continued as the forces of Germany and Britain carried out bombing raids and sea attacks against each other. The body of an Italian soldier lies, where he fell during battle, in a stone-walled fort somewhere in the West Libyan desert, on February 11, 1941. The United States began its Lend-Lease program, which would eventually ship $50 billion worth of arms and materials to the Allied nations. A British cruiser tank is unloaded at a port in Egypt on November 17, 1940. It is one of a large number which had just been shipped there by British forces. And an ominous new phase began as the Germans established walled ghettos in Warsaw and other Polish cities, rounding up Jews from surrounding areas and forcing them to move into these enclaves. Hail Selassie, right, exiled emperor of Ethiopia, whose empire was absorbed by Italy, returns with an Ethiopian army recruited to aid the British in Africa on February 19, 1941. Here, the emperor inspects an airport, an interpreter at his side. On May 5, 1941, after the Italians in Ethiopia were defeated by Allied troops, Selassie returned to Addis Ababa and resumed his position as ruler. Here are a collection of interesting and rare pictures documenting this period of World War II. Cameron Highlanders, a Scottish infantry regiment of the British Army, and Indian troops march past the Great Pyramid in the North African desert on December 9, 1940. Warships of the British Mediterranean fleet bombarded Fort Cupuzzo at Bardia, Libya, on June 21, 1940. Field Marshal Gen. Erwin Rommel, commander of the German Africa Corps, drinks out of a cup with an unidentified German officer as they are seated in a car during inspection of German troops dispatched to aid the Italian army in Libya in 1941. On board one of the battleships was an official photographer who recorded pictures during the bombardment. A huge Panzer IV German tank, part of the German expeditionary force in North Africa, halts in the Libyan desert on April 14, 1941. Anti-aircraft pom-pom guns stand ready for action. Children of Japan, Germany, and Italy meet in Tokyo to celebrate the signing of the tripartite alliance between the three nations on December 17, 1940. Japanese Education Minister Kunihiko Hashida, center, holding crossed flags, and Mayor Tomijiro Akubo of Tokyo were among the sponsors. Photo credit, AP Library of Congress. A Japanese bomber in flight on September 14, 1940. Below, smoke rises from a cluster of bombs dropped on Chongqing, China, near a bend of the Yangtze River.